Um, so At The Gates is a is a 4X game, sort of, sort of an empire building game. You know, there'll be some, I was gonna say some similarities to Civ. Are there though? It's a very different game. One of the things that's crazy, because we're basically playing the barbarians, um, you know, that were at the gates of Rome. And uh, we're sort of nomadic. We basically only have one city, although you can move it around. It, it's weird. I think I think we'll just have to jump in and uh, try to try just play it by ear at that point. Let's go ahead and start a new game. So there are many many different tribes available. However, uh, it looks like to unlock these, you have, we have gonna have to successfully form an alliance with its leader or capture its capital while playing as someone else. So we're gonna have to you know unlock these by kicking the snot out of everyone else. But in keeping with our theme of being double gothic today. Again, I hope everyone brought their black eyeliner. Uh, we're gonna be playing as Alaric of the Goths. So we played Gothic Armada. Now we're playing the Goths over here. So their unique ability is they just start with a little bit more stuff, a little more food, a little bit more treasure at the start of the game. So we're gonna go ahead and play as the Goths. Uh, it is procedurally generated, generated map as far as I know. So, you know, replayability, but not a real earth map. And here we go. So it's, it, the graphics, it's like this simple sort of cartoony look, but one of the things I like about it, and I've always said this for strategy games, the most important thing is clarity. And what um, they've opted for in this game is these iconic looks so you can clearly see what's going on. This isn't gonna be like Civ Six where I can never tell if a hill is a damn hill. No, I can see what the hell is going on in this. So, uh, we've got that. We've got a few stats over here. We've got clans. So basically the way it works is like we have our, 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 our primary sort of group or faction or whatever, but we have a lot of little clans that make up for it. Uh, and these are all randomized. So we, at the start of the game, we start with three clans. So we've got clan Gerhold has joined us um, and they have random traits. So this time we've got, these guys are meek. So they have half morale, can't be trained in social profession. They never have desires and they never start feuds. That's good. They also don't commit theft or brawls. This person's also squeamish. They don't like working with livestock. I mean, I guess, you know, the smell of poop and things like that. No, they're not interested or maybe they don't want to butcher animals. So that's just, that's just what we happen to get here. Next clan. You also notice as I hover over the button, it tells us the hotkey for this button right away. They, 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 they've talked about, or John has talked about a lot. The, um, they've tried to make this sort of kind of this idea of this revolutionary UI, a very different UI. They've gone a very different direction with the user interface for this game. Um, and I think it's got it's got some really interesting potential. I like the idea that they've worked with. So you can see, like we can hit N if we want to go to the next clan over here, little tooltips. Uh, so we've got clan Ascon over here. They're trappers. Ooh, come on, show me the trappers first. This person actually starts with a trapper profession right out the gate, uh, which is different and uh, a bit unique. They also, they're not gonna be happy if they are not in a livestock profession. They're also competitive. They might very rarely engage with a mild feud if there's another clan in the same tile. And they might also very rarely engage in brawls, a little bit of crime. So we really don't want, we want Ascan to be off on their own if at all possible, so noted. And then we've got Clan Zhizh over here, or Gizhs, I don't know, um, who is Craven, refused to attack enemy armies, three quarters, or actually they don't have quarter morale, they do move faster, plus one move, which is nice. They're also gentle. Um, they take less turn, less turns to train, or fewer turns to train in civilian professions, and then every few. This is actually gonna work out okay. So those are our three clans. This is our little village over here. If I want, if I have this village selected, which I do now, I can pack up this village. We can pack up our settlement and move around. And we will probably do that. We'll sort of like drain the resources in one area. We'll have scouts going around trying to find a richer area. We'll eventually move our settlement somewhere else, if at all possible. So it's very, very, very different. Um, in the settlement, which we can we can access through basically all these buttons, this button here always tells us like things that, that we, need, we should probably deal with. Uh, so settlement is idle. If we do this, this is our settlement. Um, uh, screen over here. So we're the clan of the Goths. You also notice, so like, there's a tooltip here, right? When I mouse over. And then if I go over to the tooltip, I can actually mouse over one of the words in there. And I can mouse over one of those words. And then one of those words. And then one of those words. And then one of those words. And... That's kind of cool. 
Um, we do have a little help menu as well, which I'm going to have to close this and open the help menu uh, to do this. We've got a bunch of topics that we can go into, you know, harvesting resources. And the same thing happens. We can just sort of keep going through these little tool tips and working our way through over here. I think that's very neat. Tool tipception, that's right. Um, all right, so here we go. So we've got our three clans over here. For your clans to do stuff, they need some sort of profession. Now, Ascon over here, they already have a profession. They have the trapper's profession. They started with that, which is very interesting. Um, everyone also has the possibility of having discipline. Now, I don't actually know all the deal with the discipline. Um, clans gain experience and increase their level in the discipline um, their profession belongs to, which reduces the turns needed to train it in more advanced professions. So to train someone in a profession, so um, right over here, these are the professions we have access to right now. We can train people in hunters, reapers, gatherers, diggers, wood collectors, or explorers. However, there are a lot of different professions that exist in the game. And that's really what the tech tree does for you, is unlock more and more and more professions. Um, so it takes a certain amount of turns to train someone in a profession. As they, um, as, I don't know if they have no discipline, if you just give them a profession, I think their discipline still stays none. I don't know if they sort of automatically gain the, the discipline um, just by having the profession, or if you have to give them a discipline first and then they can level up over time. But the amount of time it takes to train a profession does go down with the discipline. So it's actually one of those things, I'm not 100% sure how that works in here, and I guess we'll just have to figure it out at some point. Now, as a trapper here, Iskan can identify unidentified animals, um, and can forage on animal tiles and give us stuff. Now, trappers don't give us food. They give us parchment and cloth as opposed to food. Still, that's highly valuable. Possibly we will keep you in this role. Um, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to have you leave the settlement. That's going to be fine. All right, so now we have a clan that we can roam around the map with. We've got some animals over here. We got some question marks, like rumors of some animals. So we'll send you over there. We've also got these guys. These are some bandits over here that we might want to clear out at some point. Just, just neutral barbarians. As far as I know, they don't move around. They just stay there and guard their camp. So we're going to want to go and pop that at some point. But we don't have to worry about them too, too much right now. If we go back over here, so you can see the settlement is idle. Because the settlement can do one thing every turn. It can be training someone in profession, training someone in discipline, or it can produce treasure. It produces five bucks for us to do other things with. I think I'd like to train a profession, and in particular, I'd like an explorer who can go around and roam around the world. There's two ways to train your profession. You can do it this way. We choose the profession, and then it shows you the people. We can see, hey, it's Copside Jedi. 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 Uh, always happy when I can catch a quill stream live. Enjoy some whiskey and or chocolate on me, and thanks for all the entertainment over the years. Well, thank you very much, Copside Jedi. I'm going to call you Jedi from now on. So we can see the amount of time it would take to train someone as an explorer. Two turns for Clan Gerhold over here, or one turn for Clan Gizhes here. Um, I think it's because... Uh... Oh, it's gentle, so it's minus one turn over there. If they had the correct sort of discipline, that would also be an indicator of stuff. We may as well go ahead and just train faster. That's going to be fine. So we're training you as an explorer. Uh, that's basically a scout. They can roam around a little faster, and that's fine. We can also study a profession. So this is our tech tree. Again, we can go to show all over here is to see everything and even within unlocking something there can be multiple upgrades of that stuff we'll go ahead and shrink that down and see what we can do um the game when you first start it off it's got sort of a mini little tutorial set of dialogue boxes it's just uh, agriculture is a first go seems like a pretty good idea agriculture will let us um um train someone as a gatherer and we do have some little plants kicking around here including some berries that we already know about over here that we can pick up for food right now we have 15 food in a stockpile we are losing one food per turn as your population grows you will eat more oh your clans actually have a size as well so this clan Ascon over here has it's one family right now but uh, currently if you look on this tool bar tool tip every 12 turns this clan will get a little bit bigger they, they'll have more families in their clan in addition to that we gain clans we currently have a cap of 12 clans currently and right over here i believe we're going to get one in one turn over here as you develop more fame you get clans that join you faster um and then you can increase your cap of clans so anyway, i think that's going to be our first turn over here can you rename the clans so you can pronounce them that's an excellent question and i i think the answer might be no it'd be really nice Especially the Gidges over here. It's whiskey and chocolate. We'll call them Clan Gifs, or should they be Gifs? Hey, it's cool, man. Hey, I make beef stew with carrots, cauliflower, corn, and broccoli, and a little maple syrup mix in the beef stew. That's interesting, with a base of pasta. Making you hungry? Yeah, I haven't had stew in a while. Made some soup a couple of nights ago, and now I'm kind of... Hmm, that's interesting. Maple syrup in there, that's very different. 
All right, so a new clan has joined us. We've got Clan Wolfric over here. And I like how they have always got a little something to say as well. They are sullen. Their mood is never better than upset. They're always going to be at least upset. Womp womp. Um, so when they're upset, they don't produce quite as quickly. And they don't get as much experience, which is too bad. They're handy. Starts a three level in crafting, which is nice. Likely to be upset if they're forced in profession outside of crafting. Okay, so we'll try to make you be a crafter. Fair enough. We will see what we can do about that. Uh, we've got an idle clan we're being told about. That's our explorer over here. So our explorer has four move points. A little bit of power, but um, I don't think it chooses to get into combat. And uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to go and see some new stuff. Actually, it looks like there's a goodie hut over here. A deserted village. So we're going to send the explorer over there and see what we can find. The date currently, late April. I believe every turn is a half a month, and we certainly want to get a lot of food stored up before winter. Because we have gone and unlocked agriculture as a base, we can go and give someone plus two agriculture discipline right away, which I think we're going to go with Gerhold over here. Um, yeah, you don't want to do livestock. You don't like doing social freshens. So I'm going to give you the two free ranks in agriculture. You can see that up over there, level two. And over in this tooltip, agriculture level two here. And what we're specifically like to dr train you as is as a gatherer over here. Notice there's two ways to train, right? I can say I'm going to train in a profession. I really need a gatherer. And then it'll show me the available clans. Or I can say I want to train this clan. It'll show me all the things that are available right now as well as the amount of time. So I'm going to train you as a gatherer. So this is someone who can get food from berries and fruit trees and beehives and so on and so forth. So we're going to go ahead and train you to do that. That's going to be okay. We need to study a new profession. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to study crafting because we got a dude who's interested in crafting stuff. So we'll go ahead and study some crafting at this point. Um, I think something like, I think lumber stuff, lumberjack is under crafting, which would actually be really good for us to do at this point. Got some idle dudes. Okay. So this is our trapper over here, currently sitting on some sort of unidentified animal over here. So we're going to identify the deposit. So it's going to take a little bit of time. They're going to go ahead and identify that deposit. There's a lot in the tooltip because there's a lot about your, your little clans that go around. They have supplies, um, which are a thing. As long as they're inside your borders. Oh, yeah. And you can put a note anywhere. There you go. I love that idea. You can also put notes on, on units. Uh, that's on the tile. Hold on. If I click the unit and right-click you. Um, There you go. You got a little note down here so you can remember what you want to do with them in the future. Like, this should be in every Forex game ever. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, there was something I was going to say. Oh, yeah. So there's like, they've got supplies. Uh, as long as they're within their, your borders, they have unlimited supplies. Other than that, different terrain has different supply costs, different temperature, different weather. That's all a thing. You can finish the turn over here. Oh, yeah. I've got to uh, go and uh, rename the stream to... Uh, at the gates. I met Attila the Hun. Oh, Attila's a bro, right? This seems really loud here. This little fanfare. Um, world ID. Oh, there you go. So you get your key as well. Um, event music. Maybe we'll bring that down a scooch. You guys let me know how the volumes go as we go. Uh, so we've got another clan that joined. Clan Mannheim over here. They're dif disfigured. Wow, it's like we're playing Crusader Kings all of a sudden. Cannot be trained in social professions. Experience gained in all discipline is doubled. Oh, so they actually level up a lot faster. They just can't do social prof professions. There's also a recluse. Training time for active professions is halved. Can't be trained in social professions. Never has desires. Desires are interesting. So as they go, every now and again, these clans will have some sort of desire. I've seen people be like, I'd like to be somewhere warm. So I want to be stationed inside the settlement or inside a building. They've got different things like that. Um, not satisfying the desire makes them upset. Satisfying them makes them happy. So, all right, we'll, we'll get back to you. We got some idle clans. So this is my gatherer over here. I'm going to send you to these berries. And we'll have you start foraging that. And yeah, we met Attila over here. He's haughty and vindictive. So haughty leaders believe they're the best and everyone else is inferior. Vindictive leaders never forgive, they never forget. So much is annoying them and you've made an enemy for life. <sighs> so he's putting in a request. He wants me to give him something. Should we do it? Should we give him a little, uh, a little treasure or something like that? Just to get him to back off for now? They're pagan as well. I believe we're Christian, actually. No kick his ass. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just give him a little food, actually. It's going to be fine. We're going to... 
Yeah, so we're going to be submissive. Um, which actually lowers our reputation, but improves our influence with the guy and our relationship level with this guy. Alright, we'll do that. Right, good, I think we'll get along. Yeah, we'll see. Um, oh, this is the... I just unlocked crafting, so I can get plus two levels to crafting, and Wolfric over here already has three levels of crafting, so we're going to bring him up to level three. So he's going to be a pro crafter over here, which is going to be great. And we are going to train him as a wood collector. Now, level five cra uh, discipline doesn't really do much for us right now in terms of, like, I, I think it shaved one turn off. Like, we went from two turns to one turn, which is the minimum. So it doesn't matter. But later on, the other professions take, like, five, ten turns to train. So you really need people who are high level. So we'll get you to be a woodcrafter. We're going to study another profession. So you can see here we're starting to, like, unlock more options over here. Um, some of these are interesting. So, like, a wood bundler is a profession which I think you would just park in your city. So you take one of your clan, you train them as wood bundlers, and as long as they have that and they're parked in your city, all your wood collectors produce twice as much. We do need tools, however, to produce these wood bundlers. Now, this last dude in the city, what, what do we want to do with him? He's got nothing. Oh, yeah, yeah. So he can't be trained in social professions. He can basically do anything else. Um... It'd be good to have a miner. Let's unlock metalworking. We'll train this guy up as a miner. Uh, ah, we've explored this village. We've got ten tools in this little village. That's going to be nice to be able to unlock some of the higher-end professions. Wonderful. And other than that, we're just going to keep uh, sort of roaming around a little bit. Uh, is this Attila's territory? I think so. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's the only person we've met. Doesn't actually say it on the tooltip. Oh, well, there's an army he's got over here bunch of horse archers wow this game is apparently going to be quite challenging as well don't think i've ever seen quill acquiesce to a demand normally just stomps them yeah but we're not in that situation right now we're not even sure we're going to survive the first winter things are rough uh okay so our gatherers arrived at the berries we're going to have them start foraging so now we're making two food per turn uh which is good so what's the season late may all right um, you are my explorer. I think I can walk through their territory. There is, that's probably a bandit camp over here, right? Yeah, so we're not going to go and fight you. We'll just see what we can do. Um, over here is a wood collector, so we're going to send you to a forest tile, and then we'll get you to start foraging. And yeah, you over here, you're going to go and get a couple of ranks in metalworking, and you're going to start working, or training as a digger. And then we'll send you to one of these stone deposits, um, and see what we can do. Next thing we want to train up... I actually suspect we might want some honor. We can get a hunter this way, and we can build military units that way later on, too. Um, farmers can build farms. They need timber to build farms, which we do have a wood crafter for that. And the to build a farm has to be within your borders. There are a couple of unknown plants over here, either one of which might be something farmable. So I think I'm going to like the idea of unlocking the farmer tech. We will see. Are the clicks really loud? Like, I have my own personal volume quite low, so it doesn't echo on the microphone. But let me go ahead and uh, use the sound effects. Let me bring them down a bunch. There we go. And we'll see. All right. Clan Wilmot has joined us. They are herders. So they have four levels in livestock. And they come with three, three sheep. So we actually have three sheep in our livestock, the ten tools, and then here's our treasure and our food over here. This guy's also apathetic. No experience gained in any discipline. So he never levels up his disciplines over time. Never has any desires. Never starts any feuds. All right. So Mannheim over here, they are the diggers. So what we're going to do is we're going to send them to one of these two little deposits. Maybe this one up over here. And we'll take a look at what's what. And then, yeah, our little scout over here is going to scoot a boot. Um, let's move up over here. Hello. Clovis of the Franks! It's the big, big blue blob. blob. So, um, right over here, he hasn't actually demanded everything. Uh, we're currently Christian. He's got four enemies, no friends. Um, I have minus six leverage right now because of relationship level. I can just say, you know, sup, how's it going? Um, we can offer him a gift. This would be generous as opposed to submissive. The nice thing about this is... Uh, like, we don't lose any global reputation. We just make him a little friendlier. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to open up a little present here. And see what we can do. Because we have no military. Um, Wilmot over here. He doesn't have a profession, which is interesting. Um, 
he's got a discipline of livestock, but he doesn't actually have a profession. What do we want to do with him? We can get another explorer. We can't train him as a farmer yet. I'm actually thinking we might train him as a woodcutter for now. Just get him to get some extra wood for us so that we can build farms. So we're going to train him as a wood collector. I'm hoping that doesn't change his discipline. We're going to find out. Actually seems to be a mix of RimWorld and Civ, interest level of writing. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, he never gets experience, which is, you know, not the end of the world. Uh, clan is idle over here. Oh, you are supposed to be cutting some wood. Thank you. And you are supposed to be exploring. Oh, no! I thought I had the scout selected. Whoops. Oh, you just revealed sheep. Oh, interesting. Well, you know what? You can reveal this herd instead or something like that. It's going to be fine. Um, and then our digger over here needs to identify this deposit. And our caravan has shown up. So every now and again, this caravan will come. This user interface, honestly, could probably use some work, in my opinion. Um, because it's a little hard to tell at a glance what the deal is. So they have weapons and tools and alcohol and parchment available. Now, parchment is highlighted in yellow. Um... And so they have a surplus. I don't know. I don't think the yellow is the surplus. I think the green part is the surplus over here. So that we can buy th this parchment for cheaper than usual, but sell it for less. Um, the other things will be yellow at times, and I don't know if it identifies clearly what the yellow is there for. But uh, that's we'll see. Um, parchment is good for leveling up other things, uh, special professions and things like that are good with paper. Uh, we could, we already have some tools. We might want to buy some more. We might want to buy some weapons. If I just get the five weapons, I could probably train one group of archers to take care of that nearby bar, um, um, bandit camp. They're expensive, but not too bad. I think I will actually, I'm going to buy their five weapons, and then I think I'm going to buy all this cheap parchment. That's going to be okay. We will not buy alcohol right now. I know it's a tragedy, but I will not buy alcohol at this time. We don't quite need it yet. Sell all your stone mugs, buy an anvil. <laughs> yeah, we need a reskin for this, this dwarf fortress. I like it. We now train farmers. Uh, this is my explorer over here. I don't really feel the need to keep going north. I'm going to bring you around down here instead. I have a wood collector over here selected. So this is a second wood collector. So I'm going to put you down here. Settlement is idle. There's no one in there at all, so we'll just produce treasure. Just make five bucks. Uh, it's not very exciting, but it's going to be there. Okay, so we got the farmers. Um, we will want the miners. They will be able to build mines. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to unlock honor over here. Next turn, we're going to another clan. Hopefully what we can do is train them in honor and make an archer and clear out this little barbarian camp and see what we can get. We're going to identify this deposit and finish turn. Livestock would be good for your livestock people. Uh, that's true, too, yeah. A thorough woodsman has just joined us. So, no extra movement point needed to enter forest, brush, forest, and brush tiles. I'm thinking they're different subtypes. That's why they're showing up twice. Just like in Civ 6, when you see that you can build something on mountain, forest, mountain, plain, mountain this, mountain that. Uh, you're also thorough. Training time increases by half, so it takes longer to train you, but you're getting triple the experience points. Cool. Now, you don't currently have a discipline. We just finished honor. So we're going to go ahead and give you the honor. Um, we could just train you in a hunter, which is an honor profession as well. That's probably okay. And then what we can do is we can always just uh, train you to be a warrior later on. So let's do this. You can get some XP, some more XP in honor as a hunter. And then for profession, I do want to unlock the archer. But yeah, the other thing was the livestock thing. Let me unlock the archer now. This feels like a special sieve. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, it's got... It's clearly not sieve, and yet... Can sort of scratch that itch a little bit? Uh, you... Oh, yeah, you're another lumberjack, and you're okay. So now we're making 3.8 wood per turn. 20 is how much I need. we need to build a farm, I believe. Um, who dis? This is a hunter. 